Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, winter's coming and it's time to batten down the hatches. Here's what we did to the laying hen coop. So these chicken crates are what we've been, or milk crates are what we usually use for nesting boxes, but they roost on them when they're upside down and open. They roost on the sides of them and poop in them all night long. So I don't know what Papa has planned. You don't. You'll see when I'm done. Okay. We'll see when he's done. I guess that means leave him alone. Let's take Papa a coffee out to the barn. I put whipped cream on it. Coffee break! Wow! Is that, that, is that their roost? Okay, here. <sighs> Brought you a... <sighs> Thank you. That door opens out, so in the spring we'll just cut the cardboard away around it. Awesome, Papa. I gotta go make fruitcake. These boards have been put up here so that they don't climb onto uh, the top of their boxes. These boxes used to be resting sitting upside down just open at the top and they used to roost on them at night and poop in their nests so nice nice job one for each yes we could put 12 in here but we don't we have kept three of our older laying hens as you can see they still have nice yellow feet which means they're still laying we have kept three of them because those are the crossbreeds i've bred over the last few years they are a cross between Chanticleer, Plymouth Bard Rock, and what else do we have in there? Rhode Island Red. And the ones that lay blue eggs, Easter egg chickens. So they're, they're all a nice cross. This is my new rooster. His name is Ferdinand. And he is a speckled Sussex, so he's adding a new bloodline for our birds next year. And these are three new Plymouth Bard Rocks. So, we're only keeping six, pig, pig, we're only keeping six laying hens over the winter and Ferdinand and hopefully these will be our breeders for next year's meat birds. Beautiful job, dear. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying never underestimate having a good idea when you've got an amazing handyman who can put them into practice for you. Mm -hmm.